Isograph has recently released version 5 of our Availability Workbench software suite. My name is Joe Beland, and I'd like to take some time to show you the new features of this latest version. Availability Workbench is our flagship suite of availability simulation software. It includes the latest versions of Isograph's AvSim Plus and RCM Cost software for system availability simulation and reliability-centered maintenance. In addition, it includes Weibull analysis and lifecycle costing modules. Availability Workbench is used to optimize maintenance and spare policies, predict system availability and throughput, and estimate lifecycle costs. It includes well-known modeling methods such as Famica, Reliability Block Diagram Analysis, and Fault Tree Analysis. In the AvSim module of Availability Workbench version 5, we have added the capability to track multiple products in a block diagram or fault tree. Previously, AvSim could track an overall throughput or capacity of a system, but only for a single product. This new feature allows the user to define up to four products to be tracked by AvSim. In this example here, oil, gas, and water have been defined as the throughput products in our system. I can also equate the capacity of each product by defining the maximum possible throughput of each in a natural real-world unit, such as barrels per day or cubic meters per day. Once I have defined my products, I can then individually set the maximum capacity for each block for each product. AvSim will then be able to track mean capacity for each product over the system lifetime. If I have the Show Capacity display option turned on, then the maximum capacity of each component block and the mean capacity of system blocks will be displayed for each product underneath each block. Many features related to capacity and throughput modeling have been enhanced to facilitate the multi-product tracking. For instance, rules that modify capacity allow you to specify which product the rule applies to. In this way, individual product capacities can be dynamically modified based on system phase or state. In this example, the production of all three products has been reduced during the last three years of the system lifetime to model diminishing production at end of life. The operational capacity targets that can be set at nodes have also been expanded to accommodate multiple products. Operational capacity targets are used to dictate when standby equipment, such as buffers and cold or warm standby blocks, will be made operational. If the required capacity is not achieved for any product due to direct or indirect failures or scheduled maintenance activities, then standby blocks will be switched on. Likewise, consequences have also been modified to track the impact of loss of each product. When creating a loss of capacity consequence, each product can be assigned a cost rate of production loss and target production separately. Before running the simulation, you can choose which product should be used when determining importance rankings. The project options allow you to pick any of the products to be the one towards which component importance is determined. Importance rankings tell how much loss of product each component is responsible for. Upon running the simulations, the results summary dialog will show each individual product's mean capacity, standard deviation on mean capacity, and estimated error due to simulation over the lifetime. Component importance rankings will also show each block's contribution to lost capacity for the selected product. Finally, the system profile plot 
has been updated to show the mean capacity of each product over the lifetime. Availability Workbench version 5 is now available for download from Isograph's website. Please contact us to request an evaluation copy or upgrade. Thanks, and have a great day.